Hello everyone! In this video, I will present the work when browsing gets cluttered, interactions of browsing clutter, browsing habits, and coping. My name is Runjun Ma. This is a collaborative work with Henrik Lasilla, Lisa Nergalieva, and Janne Linkvist. Nowadays, more diverse and complex browsing tasks can be achieved online, from work to entertainment, such as news reading, searching for some information, and shopping. As information is richer than ever, it overloads users, and quite often users end up in a cluttered situation. In this study, we try to understand such cluttered situations through the following questions: How users experience clutter during web browsing? What do users do when they experience clutter? What behaviors, preferences, and factors influence the users' experiences of clutter? Through exploring those research questions, we learned from our participants that, due to the build-up of browser elements and information, they experience browsing clutter in different forms. In this study, we conceptualized browsing clutter based on our data into four forms. We spotted that users experience clutter when the number of interfaces, including tabs and windows, increases. When web content and interactive elements distract them, such as ads or pop-ups, moreover, clutter also emerges when they get lost in the navigation and search process. We studied some task attributes, such as task importance and time duration, as well as some browsing habits that contribute to browsing clutter. For example, multitasking and organizing tasks within the browser. When users experience browsing clutter, they try to cope with it. Based on our data, we identified two types of coping strategies that are emotion-focused and problem-focused. Emotion-focused refers to the strategies that they are trying to practice their attitude to deal with the negative feelings due to clutter, instead of solving the stressor itself, the clutter. And the problem focus to aim to prevent the clutter from emerging. We will talk about more details soon. First, to give an overview, in this paper we conducted a two-stage study. In study one, we interviewed sixteen frequent browser users about how they usually browse the internet, both positive and negative experiences, what strategies they have for managing browsing tasks. As well as their working styles and task backgrounds. Based on the qualitative data, we generated themes under three topics that are forms of browsing clutters, sources of browsing clutters, and strategies how users cope with browsing clutters. In study two, we surveyed four hundred participants around the world. We conceptualized the findings from study one under browsing behavior and browsing experience. Then we designed items under each topic and measured them with Likert scale. With the rating statistics, we ran the factor analysis and factorized the items, which we used then for regression modeling to model the dynamic between how browsing behaviors are contributing to browsing clutter, as well as how people perceive browsing clutter and how people cope in reaction to that. You can find the full pictures and reach conclusions and discussions in our paper, but here I'm going to pick and focus on two findings to demonstrate our understanding of browsing clutter. Finding number one: Browsing clutter is influenced by the habits of organizing tasks within the web browser. On the right side, we can see the regression model between browsing behaviors and browsing clutter forms. Here we take working fields behaviors as an example. Working fields refers to the habits of organizing tasks using browser functions, for example, differentiating different tasks with browser windows. This is a strategy many users apply to manage browsing tasks. However, it shows the opposite effect and increases the browsing clutter. One participant from our interview study shared the experience of using Windows to collect tabs for one specific task, and in this way, wishing to keep things more organized. 
However, she ends up having then two, three, and even more windows with each containing too many tabs, and becomes containers on different levels. In the end, the clutter is still there. It is still tough to find the right window, and it is not the ideal solution. Thus, we argue that current web browser does not support complex task structures, and the experience in task management needs to be worked on. Finding number two, users try to cope with the clutter, but most strategies do not reduce the clutter. Here, we take clutter during navigation as an example and show how it relates to coping strategies. The only coping strategy that reduces the clutter, as shown with a dotted line, is active action. It refers to people actively solving the situation. One example from interview for active action is using external tools like Tab Manager to solve clutter. Active coping, such as using external tool, reduces the clutter. But interestingly and controversially, we also learn from our participants that it's extra work to reduce the work in a way. And therefore, many of them stopped using any tools after trying them for a while. Another two coping strategies on the opposite increase clutter are social support, which means seeking support and comfort from others, and avoidance and negative expression, which has been largely explored as the negative feelings show up during clutter, such as being stressed, annoyed, or overwhelmed. The coping strategy reframing is statistically unrelated to navigation clutter. However, it is wide adopted by our interview participants. One example for reframing is adjusting attitudes, such as telling "this is not an urgent problem" and "this is not serious." This strategy is, mo- is emotion focused, but does not face the stressor of clutter itself. Overall, from this diagram, we see the dynamics of how people experience browsing clutter and how people cope with it influence each other. To sum up, with our study, we concluded four forms of browsing clutter: the amount of tabs and windows, web content and interactive elements, navigation, and search. We identified browsing habits. That contribute to clutter and the mismatch between the current browser design and the user's task needs. Furthermore, we discussed the strategies users cope with browsing clutter and the challenges of actually solving the clutter. With this paper, we want to share our understanding of browsing clutter, and we believe it is the first step to decluttering. Thank you.